Are you looking for a break from all those AAA blockbusters? Looking for a game that is beautiful and therapeutic? Seasons A Letter to the Future could be that answer. I'm Court Lalonde from Carpole Gaming, and this is Seasons A Letter to the Future in Review. I'd like to thank the developer for providing a code for review. I'm going to tread lightly when explaining this game because I don't want to give away too many of the story beats. This is the second game from Scavenger Studios, which was formed in 2015 based out of Montreal, Quebec. The first game that they put out was a free-to-play battle royale. To say that this game doesn't share that many similarities is an understatement. Seasons takes you on a tour of the world that had a lot of suffering and you could say is post-apocalyptic. It differs largely from the usually post-apocalyptic games as it tries to tell that there's hope in this world instead of always trying to put, put you down or trying to kill you. The story is told through narration of Estelle as she has her journey to document the world so the future can learn from it. For me, the overarching theme with regards to the story was a quote from the great Ian Malcolm, Life finds a way. Most games with dealing with a tragedy or a cataclysm that brought suffering to the world are dark and only focus on the suffering. This does the opposite. Through our senses, we find beauty in the world as Estelle rides her bike from one area to the next while documenting anything and everything along the way. You take photographs or audio logs, or you might even surprise yourself where the audio might come from. I highly recommend using headphones while you play to fully immerse yourself in this game. The art style is cell shaded with vibrant colors throughout this world that they've created. Riding around this fictional landscape, I did try and figure out what factual landscapes that might have drawn inspiration from. I have a funny feeling that some of the areas are the east coast of Canada. Throughout the world, you'll find park benches just to sit and sketch and take the world in. They take full use of the adaptive triggers on the DualSense as you ride your bike around the world, and you can feel resistance as you pick up speed or you're trying to climb up a hill on your bike. Seasons takes you on a therapeutic journey. As many surprises along the way, but I highly recommend going off the beaten path and see what you can find. There's going to be a lot of surprises. It asks a lot of questions of you as you interact with the world and you try and figure out what's going on and what the seasons are all about. I was left still thinking as I finished the game and I wanted more of the story and I truly hoped that there's a sequel to this game. I had a sense of calm in me as I played this game and didn't realize how much time I put in it. At one point, I truly couldn't believe that I had been playing it for about six hours. In a world of AAA blockbusters taking up the conversation nowadays, Seasons A Letter to the Future is a breath of fresh air and a must play if you ask me. You can main path the story and finish it rather quickly, but I'd recommend exploring the world they've created and stop and see the sights and hear the sounds. You won't be disappointed. Seasons A Letter to the Future is console exclusive to PS4 and PS5, but is also available on Steam.